G'day and welcome back to Salem's Travels. Today we're going to do a little damper cook. Going to do a couple of them to just show you a couple of different things, some tips or tricks if you like, that you may not be aware of. And camping in the Aussie bush just wouldn't be the same without a damper. So, pretty straightforward. You really just need flour. Well, roughly speaking, you want about two cups of flour for every cup of water. So we dump some flour in there. Just put in a little bit of salt. Now a good little tip is to just oil your hands if you're going to be doing it this way and that'll help stop flour from sticking to your hands. Then we just add some water. And just keep mixing it. Now obviously you can do this in a bowl or on a cutting board. Ground this one in flour. So you can see it's completely covered in flour. This little guy, I'll just put that aside for a sec. I'll just make up another one. Okay, so we've got two dampers. So now we've got two dampers ready to go. As I said, just flour, water, a little bit of salt. So what I'm going to do is show you a couple of different ways to cook them, which you may not have come across. After all, if we did, if all everyone's videos was exactly the same, you're not really learning anything different. So. We get some of these coals. Don't need too many for the bottom. And here I've got just an old oil drum which I picked up from takeaway shop. They throw them away because they're rubbish to them. It comes with the frying oil that they use. So we just dump that on the coals. Throw a damper in it. Bit of tin on the lid for the lid. Bit of tin on the top for the lid. And throw some coals on top. Part two, just to dig a bit of a hole out, you want to get right down to where the sand is, or the pure ash. So I've got our other damper which is smothered in flour, we just throw that in, 
Say them. Cover it over. And we'll leave that for about 30 minutes and see how we go. So I'll just take the lid off. Put that aside. There you go. Nice little damper. Made in an old oil tin. So, just goes to show you don't need the fanciest of equipment to make some decent food. Any pot will do. There we go. Can't ask for much better than that. Now, as for our other one. I've pulled our other one out, and as you can see, there's hardly any damage from her being in the ashes because it was covered in flour. So even if you've got no pot, if you've got a bit of flour, you'll still be able to cook yourself a, a damper without any problems. Well, as always, if you found this helpful or interesting, please give us a like. And if you want to see more from Salem's Travels, then hit that subscribe button. Hooroo!